What does a CDT range score mean? That is a great question and it is the topic of our screencast today. So on the screen in front of you, we have a couple examples of CDT range scores. One is for reading and literature, another for science. We um, also have them for math and writing. So a quick glance at what is contained in the chart. You'll see in the yellow orange column is the course name. The gray is for the grade level. Then we have red scaled scores, green scaled scores, and blue scaled scores. The dark line that I've added to the chart simply is delineating the difference between what was the secondary CDT and when they added on assessments, courses, for the elementary version of the CDT, they name them slightly differently. And sometimes people question this overlap right here. Why is there a reading uh, five and a grade five reading literature? Or over here where we see that overlap of science um, between the science four and science three through five. It simply delineates in the CDT system between the old uh, secondary assessment and what they've added on for elementary students for data collection purposes. Where is the end of course expectation? So in our reporting, you'll recognize that the colors are often showed as red, green, and blue. And when you're looking at the CDT group map or individual map, where green meets blue is the end of course expectation just like it is right here on the CDT range scores. So if I look at um, math grade five, end of course expectation is a 1120. Or let's say math grade eight, end of course expectation is a 1283. That gives you a bit of frame of reference for what is the end of year expectation, not just um, if it's a semester course or a um, full year course, we can still can, can say this end of course expectation is the same. It's not a moving benchmark. It is always what is the expectation related to the standards, the assessment anchors, the eligible content, and the CDT range scores all are compared to that end of course expectation. So where is approaching grade level? Well, approaching grade level begins to fall in this upper green range. We may even refer to it as middle of the green. Let's look at a score in particular. What does a score of 1185 mean? Well, for sixth grade math, 1185 means end of course expectation. If I look on grade seven, where's 1185? It's going to move a little bit on the scale to the left, but still in the green now. And for eighth grade, 1185 still falls in the green range, but you'll notice it's moving down to the left. Um, of the green range. And Algebra 1, 1185, it's still in that green range, but it is moving to the left of that range. Here I've drawn a diagonal to show what I mean by that movement to the left. So here's 1185, but it's going to begin to move further down into the green range as you progress through more difficult content. What is this middle of the green that I referenced before? Well, it is a mathematical calculation. Um, it is also a reference to on track. And on track to what? Proficiency. Where do we begin to see where students are hitting a particular number in the CDT and also on track to proficiency in regards to our state assessments? So you can calculate it by simply taking the high end, the maximum, um, number of points in the green range for a particular grade level, subtracting the minimum number of points in that green range, dividing by two, and then you're getting the middle of the green. Oh. So we have charts that show us the middle of the green and you could, they've already been calculated for you. So if we look at math grade seven, 1163 is the middle of the green, but 1202 is the middle of the green for eighth grade and so forth. So when students hit that number of middle of the green, they're on track to proficiency. It also could be a goal, a target to hit somewhere over the course of the course or the school year. So there you'll notice in the future ready pa index there's the opportunity to use on track measures 
that are either tied to a state assessment or a locally selected assessment. So you could use um, CDT data for that locally selected assessment. Seventh grade math is one of those areas. They're looking for the on-track measure and the seventh grade students would need to get to 1163 or higher to be considered on track uh, for seventh grade math expectations. We have middle of the green calculations for reading because re grade three reading is another on track measure um, on the future ready PA index. And I have the chart for science. It is not an on track measure, but of course you'd like to know middle of the green for that as well. There are CDT district data files that can be pulled out um, as a CSV and you could do calculations on that district data file or even your own class to see if they are indeed um, on track to proficiency, middle of the green for sorting purposes. There's lots of um, ways to help you understand what you're looking at in the CDT range scores. So this is just an introduction to some simple frameworks about the CDT range scores. Thank you for tuning in.